Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I bet you never thought you'd hear me say that again, but I'm back and I have filmed for you guys today my go-to makeup routine for my flights, especially for long haul. Have I keep this makeup on for so long? Wow, the sun has just gone in. God, you can truly see how pale I am now. This is my go-to look for pretty much every flight that I do. Simple bronzy eyes, nude lip, and nice contour blush highlight. And I even talk through a little bit of my skincare routine at the beginning. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned if you want to see how I got this look and subscribe. So, um, before we get on to any makeup, I'm going to just quickly talk about skincare because I only really use, other than one moisturiser, I only really use one brand of skincare. And these are just travel ones because they're the ones I take with me. Uh, is Dermalogica. And I love Dermalogica products so much. Um, I do work with them on Instagram. I'm under their Skinfluencer team. So, the products from Dermalogica that I use would be the Daily Microfoliant, absolutely incredible. It's the best exfoliator I've ever used for the face. It literally is amazing. It's not abrasive, it's not too harsh on the skin. If you have sensitive skin, which I do to an extent, um, it doesn't break me out or it doesn't cause a rash or anything like that. It is really great. Followed by pre-cleanse, followed by special cleansing gel, and then I would moisturize. I like to use this, which is the Barrier Defense Booster. This is really good, it's a very oily product and it helps basically to moisturise, rejuvenate the skin after you've exfoliated, after you've cleansed, etc. And then a slightly newer product from them, which I'm absolutely loving, is the Biolumin C Eye Serum and it's this one here. Now, I've never really been massive on eye creams, I've never really seen a difference. As you can see, I have quite large, well I don't, I have dark circles quite badly and my under eyes do get dry. Um, and the one thing I hate is putting on concealer like quite heavily under my eyes if they're dry. I like to have a nice moisturised base and this is incredible. Put it under both my eyes, whatever is left on my finger I'll put on my eyelids to kind of moisturise those as well. And it's fantastic, honestly. Once it sinks into the skin it just, you glow, it is amazing. So that is my Dermalogica skincare routine. I have quite a few other products that I like to throw in here and there. When it comes to eyeshadow for flights... I always take a palette with me because obviously for the flight home I like to have nice eye makeup. Been kind of fluctuating only between two palettes. Now I like to switch it up every now and again and I like to change my palettes that I'm using so I'm not using the same ones every time. But there are two palettes in particular that I have been reaching for like mad. One being the Morphe James Charles palette. This is the mini palette. I bought this in the Morphe store in Miami and I love this. As you can see, I have not touched the bottom ones, but the top ones, literally all these colours, I adore and I love them. So if I want to do an all matte eye, I will literally just use this all over the lid, a bit of this, these in the crease, these to deepen it up. I told myself I wasn't going to buy myself any more makeup. And then I went to Dubai about a month ago and of course I went to the Dubai Mall because it's absolutely incredible. And of course they had a Sephora there and I had to get something, you know. So this happened. The Amrezy palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I adore this so much. These ones here I just adore and then these ones as well. So I kind of mix it up and I use both. So I kind of use more of the crease colours from this one. Um, and I use more of the shimmers from the other one because I don't really like the shimmers in this But for now I'm using this more as a mirror. If you do see me kind of looking there It's because that's where my mirror is. I prime my eyes. Oh, there's a jumbo Sorry, this plane's landing right in front of me and it's so distracting and there's a jumbo like literally going past my window I'm like, oh, this is my favorite plane. And I'm gonna use some collection concealer on my eyelids and I literally dot that all over the eye. I'm going to do one eye on camera and then I'm going to go away and do the other eye off camera. So, yeah. And you can see the difference already. <laughs> I'm now going to go away and I'm going to do this eye off camera and then I'll be right back to do this eye with you. That's my go-to kind of eye makeup for work. So, a lot of people will say, oh, that's a lot of eyeshadow for work. But I don't wear eyeliner, I don't wear false lashes, I don't have lash extensions. So... I go all out with my eyeshadow and just put a nice coat of mascara on. And yeah, that is my eye makeup. So I'm going to do the same on this eye now and show you how I did it. I'm going to start off just taking the Waver Luxe Definer brush. I'm taking the shade OG, which is this one right here. And I'm going to literally just pop that for up crease. And like I said, if you do see me looking here, it's because that's where my mirror is. 
so I did ask on Instagram for any questions for me to answer whilst I'm doing my makeup and I got quite a few <laughs> the thing is um, I can't really be answering questions too many questions about work it's stuff that I can't really disclose or it's stuff that really shouldn't be blurted out all over the internet to be quite honest with you um, so things like about assessment days and stuff like that I can't really I can't say much because you've got to remember I did my assessment day over a year ago now um, so my assessment day is not going to be the same as your assessment day and um, they change it all the time so me giving you assessment day advice is completely pointless because it's not going to be for the same assessment day all I can say is be yourself don't sit there on your phone dress nicely arrive nice and early have breakfast before you go because you'll be hungry otherwise the whole day. Um, take a nice bottle of water with you. Make friends because your assessment day friends, you will see them out and about. I have. Um, I had a nice night out with a girl that I was from my assessment day in Vegas not so long ago. Um, I'm just taking the shade Dragon which is that shimmery bronze shade and that is now going all over the lid. I'm just going to dip into a couple of those crease shades from the Morphe palette and I'm just using an Urban Decay blender brush oh I love these colours like it looks like a state at the beginning you're thinking oh my god Phoebe that's not going to turn out well but it does and then I always use this Zoeva Luxe soft crease brush just with a really light yellow shade and that's what I basically will use to kind of soften the edges I'm going to take a Zoeva again, Lux, this is Petite Crease Brush, and I'm going to take a dark brown shade, and then I basically will run that dark brown over the outer portion of the lash line, and kind of that outer V, is that what they call it? Like that. Then I will take my crease brush again and I'll basically just soften that, what I've just done. I will then take the shimmer shade that I used to create a softer transition. Then just taking a MAC blending brush and that's my eye makeup. So I'm going to use my mascara. At the moment I'm using the Size Up from Sephora. It's a good mascara, but I would personally probably buy one from the drugstore myself. That is my eye makeup done, apart from obviously the lower lash line. And yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I definitely think it emphasises the blue in my eyes, which is something that I really like to do. That's another reason why I use these kind of tones. And yeah, I really like it. I love both these palettes, could not recommend them enough. Especially the James Charles one, if you are like, oh, just almost broke it. If you're like me and you travel a lot, this palette's incredible. So Liberty, she has said, I start BA in April and I need to know how you keep makeup on all flight. This makeup routine, <laughs> literally. Um, I do the exact same makeup routine every flight and my makeup doesn't budge. I always get crew saying to me, like, after a night flight, when you come out the bunks and you're like, ugh, half asleep, they always say to me, how's your makeup still look like that? And I'm like, I don't know, like, well, I don't know if it's the products, if it's my skin, but my makeup, it doesn't budge, so something I'm doing must be right. So obviously I've done all my Dermalogica products earlier. There is one more product that I do like to use in terms of skincare. Sorry, it's another jumbo landing and I just can't stop looking at them. I like to use the L'Oreal Hydrogenius. Now this moisturiser is incredible and it's like six, seven pounds from Superdrug. It has aloe vera or aloe water in it. And it is so hydrating, literally. I have to stop my boyfriend from stealing this because he uses it all the time because even he really likes it. I'm now quickly gonna put on some of that Dermalogica eye serum. I love this stuff so much. I'm sorry, but can you see how hydrated my under eyes look? It's, it's this. Um, foundation wise, I vary between two different foundations. One expensive, one drugstore. Drugstore, Revolution, Conceal and Define fantastic four pounds 
high-end Huda Beauty faux filter. This foundation, this is my favourite foundation and this makes your skin look flawless. Which one should I use? Part of me wants to be good and use the drugstore and then part of me's like, oh. No, do you know what? I'm going to use this one because I think we don't get paid very well as cabin crew and it's nice to show people where they can save money. So let's go for this one. Maybe thinking, oh my god, why are you putting so much on? But I'm not. There's actually barely anything coming out on this. Um, so I'm having to make a little go a long way. Which it kind of does with this foundation anyway. Old knackered foundation brush from Real Techniques. I need to get a new one, but for now it still does the job. Right, so that's my foundation on. I do look really pale in this light, but yeah. Um, we're going to put a bit of collection concealer under the eye and all down kind of around my nose favorite concealer literally i love it and it's like 2.99 maybe i think from super drug i'm gonna blend in the inner corners quickly with my finger next thing i'm using is the revolution baking powder and that is literally going underneath both my eyes and then i like to kind of whatever's left on the brush put down my nose and a little bit on my chin. My face powder, I still use Rimmel Stay Matte. I absolutely love it. Um, I always keep this in my crew bag because this is probably the one product that I would use to kind of top up my skin throughout the flight if I do need to. For bronzer today, I'm using the NYX contour kit. I'm literally just gonna take a mixture of the different colors. And basically just warm up my complexion shade all around my hairline obviously kind of down the sides of my nose cool so i just realized that my camera wasn't filming me putting on my blush or my highlight for blush i use the charlotte tilbury chic to chic blush in the color ecstasy this blush lasts really well on flights and blush is something that i like to really last well um and this is what it looks like it's just a peachy pink color probably don't need any more but you get the gist always go for a peachy pink because i think it really warms up the complexion and looks really pretty against the warm eye makeup so that is my favourite blush. I just use a Real Techniques blush brush for that. And then for highlight, my favourite highlight for flying is the Becca Champagne Pop. And as you can see, it's pretty blinding. I don't need any more, but... It is a beautiful highlight. And if I don't use the Becca one, I'll use the Fenty. This is the Killer What Highlighter in... Fire Crystal and Lightning Dust, and this is my other favourite highlight for flying. And look at that, it's absolutely stunning. Love this. And we're going to do brows, and I'm going to finish off my under eyes, and then we'll finish with lips. For my brows, I like to use a different kind of variation of products. Um, I've really enjoyed brow pomades, the Revolution brow pomade I absolutely love. Um, I like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I like the Revolution brow pencil. Recently, I've really liked, rather than a super structured brow, a more fluffy looking brow and something a little bit more, not natural, but just not as sharp and defined. So I'm using some powder. I'm just gonna use an eyeshadow. I'm using this one, as you can see, I love, from the Naked Smoky palette. Um, and the color's called Whiskey. I'm gonna kind of hold the mirror here and show you as I do it. So just taking a MAC brow, or like angled brush. I go along the bottom first. So I'm very lucky that my brows are naturally quite thick. They're just very light, as you can probably tell. They are pretty much almost like platinum blonde, my eyebrows, because that was the hair colour I was born with. My hair did go brown when I was like six but unfortunately my eyebrows stayed blonde. Cool. 
Then once I have my brow on and it's the shape that I like, I use some of the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And I basically flick all the hair upwards. Before and after. Hmm. Which is your favorite country so far? Ooh, so I've always been, can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I've always been a really big fan of the US. Um, always been a massive fan of like Vegas, Florida, um, did Chicago last week and really loved that. But <laughs> I have fallen in love with the UAE. Is that what it is, UAE? Yeah, United Arab Emirates. I have fallen in love with the Middle East. I don't know what it is, but I've done Dubai and I've done Abu Dhabi and I have loved both of them. I really like Dubai and I really liked uh, Abu Dhabi. I prefer Dubai, but I just love the vibe there. I love how luxurious it is for shopping. Everyone's driving Lamborghinis and G-Wagons and the hotels are beautiful. And yeah, I just, I really do like the Middle East. So that is probably my favorite at the moment. Um, other than that, I really liked Chicago last week. I could see myself going back there um, because it's kind of got like a little New York kind of vibe to it. Right, I'm just basically gonna take the colors that I put in my crease under my eyes. So a few warm shades, I'm gonna come right here that shade right there then I'm going to take that yellow colour and buff it out and make it a little bit softer I don't really know what kind of videos I'm going to be posting um, obviously I've taken a little bit of a break off of YouTube so now that I'm back I don't really know what kind of videos I want to film I know a lot of you enjoyed like my travel vlogs last time so I don't know if I'm going to be doing them or if I'm going to be doing more like actual sit down like proper videos um we will see vicky what are you saying how do you always look so damn beautiful oh you are so freaking cute um but seriously how did your makeup last so well and also i hope you're well i do think that rimmel stay matte is the best setting powder ever it's like 3.99 it is amazing it literally leaves your skin like this like how can you say no like it's fantastic um i need to go get a lipstick because i look really weird with no lipstick on and like everything up going on up here so my favourite lipsticks for flying, I like to go between MAC lipsticks and Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. Um, today I'm using the MAC, this is the Retro Matte, yep, in Lady Be Good. And this is just a really nice, warm kind of colour. What else did she say? Also I hope you're well. I am very well, thank you. Lipstick is done. Yeah, I'm well, thank you. Um, kind of just plodding on with life at the moment, just working, still with my amazing boyfriend, and things are really good with him. Um, still living at home. You know what life has in store for me at the moment. Um, don't really know how much longer I'm going to be doing this job. I'd like to go self-employed eventually. I know that is a scary thing to say, but. I would like to, I'm kind of trying to put a lot of energy into my photography at the moment, so I would love to make that my full time business one day, and you know, be a TikTok queen, who knows, um, but yeah, I want to get back into YouTube, I want to get more into my social medias, my Instagram, and yeah, we will see what this year has in store for me, but other than that, yes, I'm very well, I hope you are well too, and yeah, that is my makeup, woo! Can you believe as well, I don't use any setting spray. I need to invest in some, what is it called? All Night Up from Urban Decay, because I used to love that. Um, but this is my makeup. I pretty much do this exact same makeup for every flight. Unless it is really early in the morning and it is a quick there and back, then I probably would skip the eyeshadow and just do loads of mascara. Um, but this is mainly for long haul. This is what I wear. Yeah, that is my go-to makeup routine for long haul flights. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me down below. Subscribe to my channel, leave me a nice comment, give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you would like me to carry on making videos. And yeah, I will leave all my socials down below, give them a follow, really appreciate it. And I'll speak to you guys all in the next video. Bye!